All right, hello, folks, and welcome to Let's Play Super Play Action Football. And this is my next English language Let's Play, and I'm proud to present it to you. Uh, especially seeing as this somehow is my most viewed series of videos. For some reason, people really love watching me take the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, who kind of suck, and uh, take them all the way to the Super Bowl against the Indianapolis Colts, who really suck. So just to show you how goofy this game is. But today, we won't be playing as any of these teams you're going to see. We'll be playing as, that's right, your own Miami Hurricanes at the collegiate level. Uh, why am I picking the Miami Hurricanes? Uh, I'm not actually from Florida. You might think I am because I was the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I'm not. I just thought they were one of the shittiest teams. And I asked some guy at work, hey, I have to play through this game. Who do you think would be most painful? And instead of just saying the Patriots, like most people would say, he went ahead and went with the uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, who, who, who did suck, but we were able to win. And, you know, the game has some exploits and what have you, and blah, blah, blah. That's not to say it's not challenging. There's our Bucks right there. So anyway, today we're going to be playing with the Miami Hurricanes, who are known for doing a lot of coke and a lot of everything else that was bad back in the early 90s. And I loved them uh, because maybe I didn't understand that it wasn't good to uh, do a bunch of coke. I mean, I didn't know that. I was a kid, obviously, back then. Um, but anyway, yeah. So here we go. The continuation. I'm just going to let it go through all these teams here. That guy's keeping his arms up for an awful long time. Uh, this game, you know, a lot of people say it's not so good. And it's not so good, but I don't know. I enjoyed it as a kid. And by enjoyed it, I mean I broke a lot of controllers because the game pissed me off so bad. So, you know, enjoy is kind of a relative term, you might say. And I've got the, the roster up right now from the 1991 Miami Hurricanes. So I'm going to do my best. Uh, to call these guys by their actual names. I noticed that Stephen McGuire, who's the starter at running back, did not actually get to the NFL, but uh, Donnell Bennett did, who was not a starter. I don't know how that works out. I remember, I think I can do five, can I do five minute quarters? Oh, okay, I went to options there. Uh, can I actually do that? Okay, probably. Whoa, did they have difficulty here? No kin. Oh, just normal. And stereo sound. Five minute quarters. I, did I do five minute quarters last time? I don't remember. Anyway, time for college. All right. And so this works exactly the same way you think it does. Uh, or for you who are college football fans, which I am absolutely not. Um, and you can see some of these na team names here. Moldy Moss, which is Holy Cross. Smart Muck. Just, these are all, uh, what's his name? The Ivy Leaguers, there's Yale, there's Princeton. Princeton, New Jersey, as it's sometimes known. Stanford, called Standard. Let me see. Look at all the Texas schools, huh? Texas Methodist, Texas Lubbock, Texas Christian, Texas Waco. We really got their Texas college. Of course, uh, I'm not gonna be the Gators, and I'm not gonna be FSU. I remember I, was, I always disliked FSU a lot when I was a kid, for whatever reason. Uh, so yeah, there we go, Miami, Florida, because there is a Miami, Ohio. Okay, so, <coughs> like I was saying, this works on the basis of, uh, like, college rankings. I believe it's changed, so they have, like, a, a, like, a tournament series now, but they don't have that, uh, but they don't have that in this game. It's all, like, you play your 12 games, or 11 games, you get invited to a bowl game, and then you get voted on, and you can win, or you can lose, or whatever. So what I'm going to try to do here is I'm going to, and it works a little bit more like Tecmo too, as in the computer gets better as you go on. So I'm going to try to pick the powerhouses first. I'm going to play the, them first. Oh, look, there's Army. Uh, so who's real good? Michigan's real good. Let's pick Michigan first. Who else is good? Washington, right? Let's see. I'm sorry. I don't want to blow a lot of time at this, but uh, I feel, you know, I should. Uh, okay, where's Washington at? There we go, there's Washington, the old Huskies, who tied for first place. Maybe it was 90 and 91, definitely uh, uh, was the University of Miami, ended up going, uh, got their uh, whatever. Okay, let's see, who else is real good? Uh, Florida, okay, sure. Um, Alabama! Can you play them twice? Ah, maybe I can just play the same team all the time. 
Uh, state of Mississippi. Who's good in Texas? Texas A&M. Oh, they do have A&M. That's cool. I mean, I guess A&M, you can't copyright that. This is like agricultural and mining, which, yeah. George Bulldogs? Sure. Where's Colorado? I remember they had a really good running. I actually used them quite a bit because they had a very good running uh, game, and I used to suck at passing before I figured out how to cheat and pass. Notre Dame! Oh, how about Penn State? I don't want to say anything bad about Penn State because if anybody's watching this who's like uh, one of those fans, uh, you know, they could get real sensitive about that. Uh, or not Penn State. It's, uh, it's, it's a Penn State? I can't remember. The one where the guy molested all the kids and then everybody, and then Joe Pa admitted like he knew about it but didn't say shit because uh, he didn't want to make waves or something like that. And then everybody was really sad that he quit. It was like, ah! Oh! Like, ah, oh, the real tragedy here is not all the kids who got molested, but it's Joe Pa had to quit. You know, like, what the hell? Where are our priorities at? I played a badges. Okay, Boston, Massachusetts fans disappointed with teams' performance styles are expected to boycott next home game. That's real shitty. So here are the rankings. We always start out at number two for no reason. And we'll play Texas, or Texas, Boston. So starting off against the Wolverines. Now, I haven't played this game in forever, so if I suck, I'm very sorry because, because yeah, I haven't played this game in a long time. Look at that lady there. She looks like she has a smiley face, I like, on top of her boobs. Like, her cleavage line makes, like, a smile, and then her clavicle makes kind of, like, eyes, but, like, okay, they want to receive, which is fine. I, li I, like, to, uh, I like to kick off first. All right, so here we go. Let's go ahead and kick it a little straight. There we go. Boom! Look at that kick. Way to go. Uh, oh, I, I see I don't have enough of the list to find. I just basically have all the offensive players. So I don't know who the hell the kicker is. They're definitely going to down that. Yeah. I mean, of course, you know. So anyway, so off to a rip-roaring start. Uh, first down. Yeah, you know, I haven't played this game in a long time. I'm probably going to regret the fact that... Uh, oh, we really have five-minute quarters. I didn't know you could do that. All right, oh, I think I, I think I remember liking to play this formation. Uh, like I said, it's been many years since I played this, so I'm hoping for. I remember I used to be really good at making interceptions. I love using this middle linebacker here. Uh, oof, that's a nice pass right there. It's a number 82, the wide receiver. All these numbers are total bullcrap, by the way, uh, because it's the same for every team. So let's see what kind of chicanery they're going to try to pull. So it's third and short. I don't want to get too crazy here, though, because if you get too crazy, they'll go ahead and blow you away with a, uh, a long pass here. Oh, crap. Okay, here we go. I like how you can say pump, pump. Oh, he's going to screen pass him. I see it. I've, I read it. Oh, but you, reading the play and stopping the play are two different things. I'm very sad about how all that went down. So, first down. All right, all right, all right. Let's go back to the play we always pick. I'm, 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 I'm heartbroken. I'm really heartbroken about that one. But let's just keep it going. Let's keep the action moving. Wait, is that the play I picked? Whatever. Wishbone back formation. Is that still called wishbone? Oh, man, he had good blocking. Got tackled the shit out of... Oh, flag on the play. For whom? Personal foul deep. What the? Okay, I did use a super tackle on him. Man, they are moving the ball up the field. They are very unfortunately getting right into our uh, our defenses, our defensive zone. We got to make a pick. Oh yeah, he's definitely. Yes. All right, I still got it, folks. Pick six. <laughs> Not bloody likely. Everybody slows way the hell down. There's number 27, and that is definitely not who that is. Uh, but whoever was one of the cornerbacks or safety, no, it's more of a cornerback number. I thought college, nobody gives a shit, right? They just pick whatever number they want. But anyway, great, great job. Great teacher, Onizuka. And I am not an anime fan, but I will admit to having seen that. All right, let's go with the old standby, the old sweep right. I always like this play. All right, all right. Now let's see if I remember how to play. Pump, pump. Go. All right. 
pitch out to the running back, number whatever, from wherever, whoever. He's going to jump at me, and I'm going to, boom, swat him off. That's a first down plus, folks. Die oh, I was going to die. Uh, who is that? Stefan McGuire, who's the starter. It looks like they use three wide receivers and one running back. So, Stefan McGuire, thank you very much, young man. Uh, and then let's just try going up the gut here. Let's see. We got we got two pages of plays here. Yeah, this this never works. Going to the other side, it's just always a disaster. Okay, I better hurry up and call a play. I'm, you like how I said it never works, and that's what, exactly what I'm going to do. I like how they got the little button combinations. Ooh, it looks like they're weak on that side, actually. So that could be a real good one. Oh! Oh, yeah. On four, yeah, on four, yeah, one yard gain. Wow, all that work for one yard gain. I'm gonna say that was Martin Patton or Larry Jones could be the one. Oh no, maybe it's Donnell Bennett who was not a starter, but he did make the NFL, the No Fun League, uh, as it was called uh, in jest. Of course, only in jest. Uh, tight end screen pass. Let's try this. Let's try. The, let's try the short game here. I'm just kind of experimenting around because I haven't played this game in so long. I really just got to get my foot under me here. All right, a little screen pass coming up. Holy crap, Amundo. Are they blitzing the hell out of me? There. All right, nice pass there. And he is, oh, he is, ugh, gosh darn it to heck. Almost got it. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We are at third and one. I hate third down. So nervous. All right. So here we're gonna do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the streak here. So this is, you know, I'm just gonna totally catch them off guard. Let's see, are they playing like right up on third and inches? They probably are. So I'm gonna see how this plays out. There's a good chance I'm gonna do the old QB keeper, and by that I mean I'm not gonna do that because, and by that I mean I am. Oh shit! I didn't actually, I didn't actually mean to throw that. <laughs> see what I had meant to do was keep running and actually have him dive. But as I told him to dive, you know. All right, fourth and one, I'm still going, I'm going for it. I don't give a shit. I'm, I'm dangerous like that. And I'm gonna go for the sweep, which is probably a terrible idea. I'm gonna try to draw the defense a little bit. That's good enough, good enough. Probably could've kept going there instead of just diving for the three pathetic two yard game. But that's okay. So I'm going to have to shake off a lot of the rust if I'm going to hopefully hope to... What time is it? Oh, 31 seconds left. I think I played full 15-minute quarters when I played this uh, before. All right, so let's try a pass here. we got a quick couple of dump-out passes, and we've also got the... Ooh, it's perfect. Perfect. Well, it's kind of perfect. The imperfect part is I have to eventually... I have to roll out and throw. Oh, and I also have to catch the damn ball, which... Didn't happen there. God dang it. Yeah, because you can't, if I had to throw it straight into him, sure would have got deflected or sure would have got uh, intercepted. It would have been ugly. All right. All right, forget it. I'm going to go out of the gun. I'm going to go out of the gun, and we'll see if we can uh, make this work. They're going to play. Ah, they're not going to play up on me. I was hoping they would. Okay, we got a couple of short options here, too. But the guy right down the middle, and this is one of those exploits, is usually pretty open. The key in this one is not to actually get behind them, but to get in front of them. And you get in front of them and you do the jump right there. Now the problem is if you miss it, there's a good chance it's gonna get in, uh, intercepted. So it's it's a problem. All right, we can try for the two, but uh, I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna go straight for the, uh, the uh, I'm gonna go straight for the, uh, one point PAT, and hopefully that'll do it. PATs and field goals are tough to make in this game because of how large the field is. You got a lot better chance of missing stuff. Now that's not so hard to PAT, but when you're talking about, you know, trying to bang one in for like 30 yards out, oh boy. Unless it's like a straight down the middle thing, and that's even tough to judge because it's just so far off. Apparently it's raining. I probably should have looked at that when they told us the weather. So end of the first quarter, up 7 nothing, pretty good. Uh, it is wet and warm, it doesn't actually show. I think if they had showed, you know, what's his name, clouds, 
If they showed like a, like you know, like the weather man. If they show the clouds with the little raindrops coming down, and maybe a frowny face on the crowd, uh, crowds, clouds as well, I would have gotten it. Okay, he's taking it. He's taking it. He's going for it, folks. He's not gonna t touch back that stuff. And he, he was probably well. He was almost smart to do it. He was off one yard. He exerted himself for less benefit. Uh, now that's what I call a real. Uh, not good thing, I guess. That's as clever as I'm going to get, I think. Because I'm still concentrating on, like, what I'm doing in this game. Uh, because, like I said, haven't played this probably... No, I can assure you, I haven't played this since... Oh! He gave me the old stiff arm. Or you might want to call it the bitch slap. Yeah, but he bitch slapped me pretty good there. Um, now what are you going to do, you know? That's fine. I'm willing to wait till they make a pass and I uh, pick it off. I'm not really good at getting uh, quarterback sacks. It's hard to get a quarterback sack. It's easy for them, though. I know that. Okay. Oh, he did it again. He's got the wolf pack of three there. Ah, oh, there we go. Cool. Hit him for a one-yard loss. Nice. Now, if we can force him to punt, that's particularly good. I'm not sure if you guys remember, but it's pretty easy to block a punt in this game. And if you block a punt, you're going you're going long because, like, it's way back there, you know? Nobody's going to catch it. I guess just like real life, you know? The ball's in play, and it goes, like, X number, of X yards back. Ugh! Oh, I tried the power tackle, which is not as accurate as we would hope it would be. And unfortunately, number 33, which is not his real number... Oh, who do we want to give that touchdown to? Can we give it to Daryl Spencer, uh, Lamar Thomas, or Horace Copeland? Lamar Thomas was the one I knew when I was a kid. I think because it's such an easy name to remember. Lamar Thomas, you know, Lamar Thomas. Yeah, it sounds, you know what I mean? Sounds real easy. Uh, all right. I've got it. Yeah! Two-yard game. Good. Stuffed him. I mean, not exactly in a backfield, but it's... Uh, it's something. It's very interesting is Gino Toretta, and I think he went on to win the Heisman this year or the next year. Uh, but even though they won the uh, Heisman Trophy, and he was drafted by, I believe, the Minnesota Vikings, he went on to do absolutely nothing in the NFL. And I've always wondered why that was. Guys who, you know, win that. Ah, uh, there he goes again. Well, he's not going to get anywhere that time. Three yards, so a third and five. Um, so I, by the time I recognized the play, he had already thrown the ball. And I realized that picking the same defensive players, but I just like, it's very balanced, you know what I mean? It's just very balanced. Uh, but yeah, how players can be pretty great in college. I mean, the Heisman, I mean, that's the number one player in the nation, for Pete's sake. Which, you know, you think of how many people are playing college ball. You know, it's a very uh, large country, after all, isn't it? And you got a lot more in 28 teams. Gosh darn it, that sucks. Um, but anyway, yeah, so you think of that, and he was able to uh, win that, but then he goes on to play professional football, and you know, a lot of people did, like, who else, Andre Ware, didn't he go, I, I, I don't remember if he was a uh, QB keeper, or a quarterback sneak, as it's known uh, in some circles, I'm not sure which one would be more colloquial, wow, these guys are not throwing. Uh, which is kind of fine by me because they're covering the field awfully slowly and they only have two minutes left here in the half. Um, try a blitz? Yeah, let's try a blitz. I'm going to regret this shit, aren't I? Okay. Well, anyway, let me use one of these guys. Let me use a safety and just see what's going to happen with this. Nope. There's the old hoond off. And uh, gets stuffed in the backfield for a loss of three. So anyway, what do we got? It's a third and eight right here. So kind of a third and long type situation. And we'll have to see what exactly they're going to uh, go with. That's a weird formation. Oh, they're out of the gun. No, it's not a weird formation. It's a standard out of the gun formation. All right. Yes! Pick six, but not really because, yeah, there's no way you get six out of that. But there is a chance if we go out of the gun here, that we can uh, do it. And you can see why they don't uh, enjoy uh, 
why they don't enjoy uh, throwing it very much because they've done it twice and it's been non-successful. All right, so let's go ahead and go with the go out of the gun right here. We've got like a minute to work with. Hey, hey, go upstairs. Okay, there we go. Sorry, kids are rambunctious. Talking with their friend who just moved away on the phone and being hella loud. All right, so that guy in the middle there, he could cause us uh, problems. So we're gonna hope to keep an angle on him. Oh, jeez. Well, so much for keeping an angle on him. But that guy down the middle usually is free. Uh, and that's really what this game, and what makes this game kind of hard, is it's that it is that like a game of angles here. Um, in that, uh, you know, you have to find the right way to get in front of them. You have to find the right way to get in front of the uh, pass defender there. Holy crap, a mole and get a good jump. Uh, and you see, I wasn't able to do that there. Well, we might not, we might not get that final touchdown to go ahead and end their half uh, in a positive fashion. Let me go ahead and use that streak one. I seem to remember having better luck throwing it down the middle uh, with that streak. It's possible. I just, uh, I prefer the gun because the pass rush is usually pretty quick here. And they get right in to my jock. Which I don't enjoy. Uh, their jock getting into. I'm sure they don't enjoy it either because I'm getting kind of sweaty. Okay, they're playing in kind of a zone, uh, kind of zoned out. All right, throwing up the line here. Hopefully that guy can't get in position fast enough. He can't. Oh, and gosh darn it, right after that beautiful 38-yard gain. Uh, but it, all for naught because guess what? It's halftime. Yeah, I can't remember if the other time I played this. And there's the damn bird. I don't know who's... Uh... Well, let's go ahead and look at our stats here. We're doing very well. Uh, we're out offensing them, although we haven't done a lot on the ground. And they throw in two INTs. That's the biggest difference there. Okay, so let's go ahead and exit out of here. And uh, get on here. So that's the reason why I like to receive the ball. Oh, and that's not a very good kick. All right, so let's get to moving and grooving. And so that's my first return of the game, believe it or not. Ah, well, that was a rather, and, and a rather shitty one. So I'm going to pretend that's Lamar Thomas. I think he was number 88. I'm not sure if he was, but I think he was. How about that? I have, uh, <coughs> so let's try the slant option here. I'm just kind of going through the playbook here. I have a few favorites, as, as you were able to tell. Okay, there we go. And we will take that option. And it looks like we've got good good blocking, good gravy. Ah, but one short of the, uh, one yard short of the uh, first down there. And I we can go ahead and sit on a ball. We can do a little ball control action here, which is really nice. And I really want to take a look and see that. Okay. And I just want to make sure that we go ahead and convert here. I'm going to use this weird tornado option. I like this one here. Uh, this game has often been um, criticized. Wow, that's weird. Okay. Has often been criticized for being a little uh, awkward. Ugh, there we go. Wide open. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's off to the races. You can expect that. Play it, but I don't know if he's going to go yard. I got some good blocking, but you see I'm going to start severely slowing down here. And they'll severely start reverse slowing down. And that's one thing people said was awkward about this game. Give me a second. Okay, sorry about that. Kids are loud. I didn't have any kids when I made this in 2011. And now I do. Which is great. Kids are great. But, uh, also a little loud. 
Okay, did that actually make it? See, see what I mean how that would be hard to kick if you were any distance away? I probably should have just went for the two-point conversion because I think it would be easier uh, to do. All right, let's give it a good kick. Kick it more towards the bottom. It won't go as far. Holy crap. That was not a very good kick. Although it's supposed to get more hang time that way. So I guess the best kick would have been a little bit further back. A little more hang time. All right, let's see. Okay, good. We stuffed them. 13-yard return. Where are they starting out at? And, of course, first down. I do like how they bring this guy out to tell us first down all the time. Uh, where are we at here? Okay, ball's on 23. I'm going to start him off with a blitz here. And I'll play back as one of the safeties. So, yeah, the problem with it is, obviously, you can't see much of the field when you're throwing. All you got is these dots to tell you. That's why my uh, I've got the big radar here. Ah! Yes! One yard gain, though. He's still able to get that one yard gain. But that's okay. I can live with that. Barely. All right. So he's trying to be tricky dicky there. Uh, but we did pretty well with that. Okay. All right. Up. Oh. Little dump out pass. Good enough for the first down. Well, maybe not, because now we're going to bring out the chains. Break these chains of love, and it's a first down. So, whatever. Cool. All right. All right. <clears throat> That's okay. I don't mind that they got the first down. Okay. Nice triple back deal. Oh, gosh darn it. And somehow, man, they got really good blocking going there. Ah! Oh, I was trying to give him the super tackle. Once again, the isometric view makes it very difficult uh, to do this kind of stuff right here, unfortunately, because that isometric view makes it hard to, uh, you know, properly aim your tackles, properly aim a lot of things, you know what I mean? And I always roll out to the right, never roll out to the left. And why is that? Because rolling out to the left is like, it'll take me longer to get to the left, and it'll make it so I have to throw across most of the field. It's just, it's just the way the angle is. Even if I was throwing to the left side, rolling out to the right would not be too bad of a move. All right, second down at 11. All right, what do we got here? Little dump out, unfortunately. All too effective. Yeah, I tell you, they've got very good blocking. And this game only gets harder as it goes on. And man, these guys, they love the run. They are absolutely not interested. Absolutely not interested in passing the ball. You know, for good reason. Although I'm sure the game doesn't like... I mean, this is a little bit before the time of machine learning. Oh, he's in like... Triple coverage, but he doesn't need to be in triple coverage because I'm gonna pick him off, baby. All right, good, because I was getting very tired, and I do mean very, very tired of giving up, you know, two to eight, two to ten yards uh, per carry for the stupid running backs. So it really worked out. So I'm gonna sweep right. So let's see if we can pile on a little bit more. I mean, this is very much like, uh, you know, the college poll type thing. Well, actually, I don't, I don't really know. I just assume it works like that. Um, I mean, let's be honest. I have no idea, and I haven't read any FAQ that purports to uh, really explain the ins and outs of the college ranking system in this game. But let me just say, I'm going to run up the damn score if I can, because calling up... Uh, you know, that's what Tiggers do best. Uh, that's all I got. All right. Uh, because I think that will be more beneficial to us. All right. We got a guy over the middle. He's open. Kinda. Sorta. We got an angle. <laughs> I thought we did. That looked like it was sympathy. That's the problem. It's that angle. It's just, it's hard to like really properly know. All 
Alright, All right. it's still raining and now we are in our, our hoodies there, our cotton hoodies. Going for that. But like I said, I don't think machine learning uh, was even a, a thought or a concept. Let's run the old off tackle. Let's see if that'll work. Oh, that is not going to work against this formation, which has stacked itself up against that particular... Let's see, can I do any kind of reverse bull crap here? No, but I can get to the line of scrimmage. Yes! All right, very well done, getting to that line of scrimmage. So it's third and uh, really long. So let's try the old, uh, let's try the old street pattern here. And let's see if that'll help us out of this fix. All right, roll out here. Ooh, I've got the short pass right there. Ah, oh, wit! Oh. <laughs> so much for having the short pass. Are you just gonna get faster, dude? Because if you're gonna get just get faster, that's lame. Ah, I gotta try to catch this guy. Oh, jeez Louise, holy crap. Because usually they'll slow way to hell down. Or maybe that only works when it's me. So this is the problem, obviously. It's not a problem. I mean, it's not like we're gonna lose this game. Uh, unless we can somehow give up two touchdowns uh, in uh, a quarter, but it is a very inauspicious way to begin this. Although, I will say when I played the NFL, I was getting my butt kicked pretty good the first game until I kind of got into the groove. Jeez, uh, I thought that guy was perfectly... See, that's the thing. Uh, for that short pass, so that was a real short, like, shovel job, and I couldn't see, you know, where my dude was like to get the pass because it was right there right so it's such a short pass so i don't have time to react and it turned out to be a real uh buzz kill for everybody involved all right all right there we go oh, oh i thought he was gonna get stuffed in the back i was hoping he oh, yes all right cool he got a four yard gain out of that it's hard to hit anybody for a loss, because to do so, you've really got to go ahead and react in such a fashion. <coughs> What's this one? Ugh, four, three blitz left. Let's leave nobody on defense, huh? All right, that's good enough for me. I don't want to, like, run a prevent or anything, but I think this is, uh... I think this is adequate to our needs. Uh, no, he's gonna go. Oh, Andy, oh, jeez, now he's at the line. Gosh darn it. Gosh darn it to heck. I was hoping not to give up any touchdowns. But like I said, uh, when I played last time, I did. Did we get charge right? Yeah, the old charge right, which is straight up goal line standish business. And maybe I'm wrong about that. I wouldn't say I'm like Mr. Football or anything. Yeah, up. Uh, is he going to? Oh, and he got in. All right, touchdown for, um, who the hell am I playing? Notre Dame? Touchdown. Michigan. <laughs> Goes to show you what happens to you in your old age. <coughs> All right. A little bit of a cold right now, so let's do the field goal blockage here. And so I think, as I remember, I'm usually pretty good at this. Yep. But I think it gets harder, too, as you get into more uh, later on in the season. Well, I know it gets harder as you get later in the season. Um, man, I really had that going there. And the enemies get... Enemies. The uh, opposing side, they get faster players. Or their players get faster, no matter who they are. Yeah, I mean, it's a lot like Tecmo Super Bowl. Or Super Tecmo Bowl. Either one of them, it's the same. And where, you know, everybody gets tougher. I don't feel like carrying it out. Does that make me a pansy? That's fine. I can live with that. I can live with my pansy nature. All right. So I'm going to try to get in the damn end zone again. We've got two and a half minutes. Go out of the shotgun here. And uh, I'm probably going to go up the middle with that pass, just drill it all the way in. I don't know if uh, I'll have a season finale that was as uh, hard pounding, hard racing. All right, as it was when I was uh, uh, played in the NFL one. Oh shit, I didn't want to throw it to him, but that's okay. But that's okay, because I'm not gonna, gosh darn it, yeah, I'm not getting this angle down. I'm just not getting it down yet. 
I'm sorry, folks. I probably should have played a couple of practice games. But this is sort of like a practice game because the game, the, the computer doesn't play very well yet. Anyway, all right. Uh, draw option long. Let's try a tornado DDT here again. We had really good luck with that one. So yeah, controls in this, oh geez Elise. Now for some reason, they are picturing me running it right up the gut, which I'm not. Uh, ah, yeah. Yeah, that was too much pressure. I was not gonna be able to uh, kick that. No way, no how. Or kick that, excuse me. I was not gonna be able to complete that. All right, let's go out of the gun again. And let's see if we can make this one count a little bit better. I wish they would play up like they did last time. Cause that would be sweet. All right, so let's roll out, roll out. Oh, he's wide open up the center. All right, here we go. Now all I need to do Gosh darn it! Now I should punt the ball away. Uh, but what would I learn if I punted it away? <laughs> so I'm not going to punt it. I'm actually going to go for it. Same exact play. Uh, because I want to run up the score here. But my, my whole plan to run up the score has come to naught, as you can see. Oh, geez Louise. And they're not playing. Which I wouldn't either. Obviously they should play somewhat of a prevent defense because... Why wouldn't they, right? Okay. I'm gonna throw it up the sidelines and obviously giving them... Ah, yes, sorry. Obviously giving them the ball with that kind of field position would be disastrous. All right. Uh, but luckily I, I don't have to worry about it because that never happened. I'm gonna do the, let's do the hook. The guy slanting up the field. That's what I'm gonna throw it to. I'm gonna throw over the middle to that slant guy. And hopefully that'll work out. Uh, that's my idea. That's the only idea I have because I know he's gonna be covered either way. Holy guacamole! And see, yeah, see, see, my dot was there, but it was nowhere close. That's what I want to complain about. That's that's why I'm shitty. That's why I suck because of that fact. It's not because I'm actually bad. You see, no, no, never mind. Don't, don't, don't even think that. It's, you know, the game's fault. It's a sprint left. I'm going to try to throw up that guy at that right side. Yeah, I didn't realize the blitz was on so strong that I was, didn't have a chance to do anything. All right. And it's going to be on so strong again, and I'm going to have to look, look, look. All right, throw it up to this guy. He's got it. He's, ah, oh, gosh darn it. Yeah, and as time elapses, not a very auspicious beginning. Winning by a mere eight points, a touchdown, and a two two point conversion. Pretty damn lame. Yes, we have conquered them. And we stay at second place, along with these. State of Penn, Nebraska. You can see the rankings there. Alright. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So whatever. Exit. Next game will I can't remember but it'll be against somebody. All right, so thanks for watching. Hopefully I play better tomorrow, and see you later. Bye-bye.